Yeah, okay. The, uh, that which changes an age is presently an idea because there is no aging. There is only disappearance of a character that looks maybe a certain age. And what is the story is um, the ideas that appear that say um, uh, this character was once 20 years old, then 30, 40, whatever. Um, and there are certain memories here that seem to corroborate that. Um, I have a sister who is seven years younger than me and all the rest of it. But right now there is just this. Just this room. The appearance of a room with all of these characters. This is the present configuration of appearances in awareness. But then we've gone to say that actually nothing happens and the rest didn't happen. In fact, there's no happening at all. That's right. Which is strangely There's just this. reassuring there, but, uh, but the bit in between. Yeah, I don't okay. get <laughs> So there is just this, and it's nothing more than an idea happening in this, happening presently, that there was another time, that there is a past, that there will be a future. That is the story itself. There's just this. Of course, we've got the verifications of photographs and stuff like that. But That's right, but they're only appearing presently. Photographs only appear presently in awareness. The idea arises with the looking at the photo photograph that that was taken 20 years ago. But that's just an idea that is associated with the looking at this photograph which is appearing presently. So what so where does that leave us with memory? What is Nothing has any history. That photograph was never taken. It's appearing spontaneously presently. Even though you could identify the person who was verified with you, oh yeah, I remember taking that photo. Yes, but that'll be happening presently. The mind here feels it really needs to understand this properly. No understanding is needed. For what? You've got you to spend a lot of struggle. Uh, yeah, but, but you see, you say understanding is needed. For what? It's is it not just another idea that understanding is needed for and then whatever we might like to term clarity, enlightenment or you know, whatever? Sure, but when you start looking at everything in detail like that, I don't even know what the word understanding means. It can mean standing under it. Does that mean that I mean the whole thing starts being called into So that's, a, that's right, we're into the whole story again. Whereas without any need to examine any of that, to look at any of it, there's just this. Justice, whether there's discomfort or confusion, and all of this. Or well, a sense of this isn't enough. Yes, exactly. Yes, a sense of lack, a sense of I've done something wrong. All of this is happening in what we are, in our, in what we are, in in the, let's say, in the bigger, in the whole sense, rather than I as an entity. It's not happening to me. That's from the point of view when this entity is assumed that it's happening to me. It's happening in me, as me. Yeah, the sense is that it's got to go somewhere to lead to... To what? To, to That's lead to but why does it need to lead to something? What's wrong with this as it is with being? Well, it must be the, the sense of insufficiency that impels yes. the idea. Right, so this sense of insufficiency, isn't this also just something else that's happening? It's not due to anything, it's not caused by anything, but it's just simply arising presently, a sense of insufficiency or lack. And then a story is associated with that that says we need to be rid of this sense of lack, of insufficiency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas in fact the story and the sense of insufficiency or lack or whatever is just happening. 
in this that we are, as this. Just happening in presence. Yeah. And the parallel fear in the sense that there's a resistance which is maybe um, deliberately trying to frustrate the process, which appears to be coming from within as well. Um, that's also part of the story. Of course, right? yeah. But it begs the question of what is there to see, to see beyond that. There is nothing sure. beyond. There is nothing beyond. Beyond is just an idea. The beyond is just a hopeful idea that this can't just be it. There must be something else, something behind the scenes. But in this timeless moment of being, whatever is appearing is all there is. Maybe there are also ideas appearing, but there are other planes, realms, that there's astral, causal, whatever names might be given to this, but those are just ideas. Does like it suddenly, let's say then suddenly this room dissolves and there's a, you're in some, uh, some uh, astral realm that seems to be all full of beings and light and colours and beauty and that, then that'll be reality. But presently it's just a story, just an idea. And this particular mind doesn't take me down as I is, but you mentioned just now there's only timeless moment of being. Yeah, but when there is that, let's say, put it in those terms, when, when there is that timeless moment of being and it is known, then that's all that's needed. I mean, you're, you're completely, mm. I won't call it transported or something or other, but that's completely full. It, it, there's, there's no wish to be anywhere else, if I remember right. Yeah. Pro probably most people here have experienced the timeless moment of being. But when it's not uh, known as the timeless moment of being, it feels oppressive. It feels, yes. It feels, it feels very, very contracted. It feels so really this uncomfortable. Yes, so this, this, compar this comparing that happens, that's happening here, um, that this feels right, this doesn't feel right. This is chalk and cheese, I mean, so yeah. the one's totally unsatisfying and one's totally satisfying. Yes, that's right, but when it's all allowed, when it's all simply um, arising presently without an attempt to change um, any of it, to to get rid of the unsatisfactory, um, to get rid of the bad stuff and in with the good stuff. When there's not this whole game going on, there is simply what is. Whether it's what perhaps you would label unpleasant or whether it's pleasant. But it, without even with the, without the labeling um, and the you know the idea that anything needs to be different then it's all just as it is in each moment. Feelings, if, you know, if there are uncomfortable feelings, that's fine. If there's an idea here that this can't be right, that's also fine. But when the story is believed that, you know, when, when uh, there's this focus in the story, this emotion in the story, that it's not fine, um, something needs to change, then um, that seems within the story, within the play itself, to perpetuate that, to, to um, harden this focus, if you like, to <coughs> concretize this sense of being an entity that is subject to all of this, that is uncomfortable, 